I'm going to go over an Israeli bandage on how to put it on and apply it to a wound. If I have a wound on my shin, this side is got the bandage. Uh, it would be sterile out of the package. This is a practice one, um, and so it's a little stretched out. This says other side towards wound, a little sticker on the bandage. So this would go over the wound, and you would really cinch it down and wrap it. Okay, what makes this a little bit different is this little cleat. Okay, so the cleat um, is going to be, you're going to take your bandage, you're going to take it, pull it pretty tight over that wound, and then you are going to simply thread this bandage through that cleat like that. Okay, I hope you can see that through that cleat. It's a hard plastic cleat. You're going to kind of put some pressure on it, and then you're going to just kind of swing it back over. You can keep this cleat over the wound. That would add a additional pressure to the wound. And then what you want to do is you want to just now keep wrapping. Okay, when these things come out of the package, they have little strings. It's not, it's not going to allow this to unravel. Uh, it'll keep it right there for you in case of stress. But you will want to continue wrapping and putting pressure on that wound and keep wrapping and keep wrapping and keep wrapping until you get the end. And that's pretty tight on that wound. Okay, you want to put, put a lot of pressure on that to keep it, to, to keep, stop that bleeding. And as you get to the end, you'll see these metal kind of J-clips or this one little clip. And you will want to then put it on, insert the bandage on that, that bottom side here. And then you will want to thread it through that top side like that. That's going to help keep it in. You will have a good compression bandage where you can go get medical help. Um, hope this helps. Israeli bandage, the application of it. Uh, until next time, stay safe.